morning everyone. Okay, uh, our video is titled We Stand for Peace. The aim is to stop violence. Okay, for the introduction, in the Pacific our people suffer from violence almost every day. Day in, day out, we have seven out of ten children who face violence in school. One out of four women face violence in the society and even one out of three men also face violence in society. So how can we overcome violence in our society? This video is a promotion of peace in society. We cry for peace. In the Pacific, our people face violence almost every day. Day in, day out, there are 7 out of 10 children who face violence in school. We have 1 out of 4 women who face violence in the society. Even 1 out of 3 men also face violence in the society. So how can we overcome violence in our society today? What do you think? One child is worth more than all the guns in the world. So stop violence. Heri heri na bahado ko. Be peaceful and stop schools violence. Atire ite mo ha manir a in. House where a woman is unsafe is not a home. Stop the violence. Do something today that your future self will thank you for. So how fine you are so well. We need peace. Increase peace. Stop the violence. Enough is enough. Make a difference and stop violence. Much resources, but then uh, we came up with our ideas, thoughts. We went on 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 Google, got our statistics, uh, just simple statistics uh, on children. And, and on women and on men as well who face violence. We got our statistics and we uh, put uh, each individual to express their views on uh, children in schools, in uh, the families, on women. So we shared our views, just a short, short, short sentence to express the view, to bring some strength in the video. And uh, we also uh, got uh, like uh, what uh, Pastor Reverend James shared to me about the concern with the children. That was an issue, a small issue. Uh, I, we, we, we got concern from the parents to take the shooting of the children, but actually we, need, we don't have proof, we need video. So uh, we actually failed in that area, but uh, thank God. And with the production side, we didn't have the app. We didn't have any app in, in our computers. We have a lot of computers, but we didn't have apps in them to, con to, uh, 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 to produce the video. So the only thing that helped us was my phone here. This, this is what I actually produced. Uh, thanks a lot for my phone. I, I, I just realized how useful my phone is just here in this, in this seminar. So thank you. That's how we finish our video. Uh, any of the pass the mic to any others? About your experience. Oh, <clears throat> uh, this experience was uh, quite uh, hard to to do our our things because um, I think that my brother was the most. Um, how can I say? Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was our director because he did everything. He was like that when he was recording our video, or I don't know. He was also fly climbing on a tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm the yes, so I'm just thankful for what he's done because he's done uh, the most important work uh, for this video. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. My experience for this um, short video. 
I thought it was very hard as the beginning, but uh, yeah, we got the director, also our manager, and everything here. <laughs> so it helped us a lot. And um, for my experience, I, I thought it was a big thing to do, but it was very surprising me for just how many days, just only one half days to do this production. So I think, yes, thank you. Um, thank you. Uh, hats off to John, as he, our crew was uh, telling that he was the one who was doing the whole work. For me, I don't have any experience of using a computer or internet, especially the, the social media that we're using to deliver our message. But it's quite a good experience for me, and I'm so happy, and I wish that I'm going to go back home and do this. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> My experience is like good, they have said, they already say it the most of the world, but without putting God in your heart, nothing will be happen. Thanks. Greetings to all in the name of our Lord. Our team is tackling gender and poverty in the Pacific. The main issues we are fighting include violence against women, decision making at household and political levels, education, land rights, and health. Arguably, the biggest constraint to addressing violence against women is the prevailing attitude that it is a private issue. Because of this, women's ability to share their experience, experiences are silenced. Cultural opposition to women in decision making is one of the major impediments to women entering formal politics. This includes the attitude that women are not capable of making decisions. Boys outnumber girls at every level of school in the Pacific. This inequality increases with age. Girls are encouraged to finish school early and start working to contribute to the family's income. Often under customary law, women had equal or different rights with men to land and natural resources. With colonization, many women were stripped of what was theirs, losing status their bargaining power, and a source of economic independence. <laughs> gender inequality in the Pacific has led, and is leading to, gender-based sexual violence, and young women having no control over their sexuality. These women are led vulnerable to HIV infection, in which case, more women are bearing the burden of caring for these people. My name is Lotofanga Barawa Wilelea, representing Congregational Christian Church of Samoa. Everyone should be inclusive. My name is Walter Philip. I come from a Presbyterian church in Vanuatu. And the writing here in this paper. Uh, says that all thing thing belong all woman, all very important to us, long society belong to me. That means that uh, women's uh, ideas and their voices uh, are pretty much important in our society. Maori, my name is Beverly from the KUC Church representing Girikas Island. This is men's men equals women.
Now that's what she put me deep because I, you know, my grandmother, she's very pro female, and um, I come from a family of three siblings. I'm the only boy in it, and to know that all this all this inequality is still existent in the Pacific at this day and age is, isn't right, and change really needs to happen. But it was a lot of fun. You know, we had a lot of work getting all these costumes put together and everything. Filming was fun. It was a good experience. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I think my experience with this uh, production is that uh, if I got home in my family, we were six boys together, there's no kids. And my mother is one of the hardworking person inside the home. So every day we usually, we usually kind of lifted this uh, thoughts and when we, are, we won't do any appreciation to her. So my experience with doing this is my first time. And I love it because we should consider our mother someone better. Thank you. Thank you. My experience is with that this video is very good for me. So my heart and at home. Because at home I'm I'm the younger girl in my family. Thank you. It was fun working with these guys. Um, the thing is, is, I thought it's so hard, but uh, well, uh, all the time we try to shift the thing and then start and then pause again. Everyone's moving at the back, and my girl here was trying to focus, and everyone went to the back and make funny face. <laughs> so it was so nice. It, Bring a huge message for everyone. Thank you. Um, on my behalf, um, it was actually really good to work with uh, all individuals that I just met this week. Um, they are really uh, good storytellers, and the whole production was fun. And it was also um, great to see them in the traditional artwear. Because um, of the traditional costumes, because um, you don't see that every day, and to put that together in one um, video and to also have them speak in their own languages means a lot and speaks a lot. Okay, before we um, before we watch our Grammy Award winning video, <laughs> <laughs> we want to say Talofa. 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 Um, does anyone does anyone know what T B H means? T B H on Facebook? Can you want to tell me what To be honest. So um T B H the silent cries of our Pacific needs to be heard. <coughs> Let me start again. <coughs> TBH, the silent cries of our Pacific, needs to be heard, justified, and resolved. Every issue shall not be avoided or under underestimated or be treated like an LOL moment. We shall stand tall and stand together to resist domestic violence. Let your voices be heard and make your mark today. Enjoy the video. <laughs> For every minute that passes by, nearly 20 people are domestically abused around the world. So speak up. Take a step. And don't be afraid. Make your mark. Take a 
to end domestic violence. Take a so this was a great experience. Um, it was a challenge for us all at the beginning because there were so many ideas that we wanted to input, but with a little amount of time, we were still able to get a Grammy Award. So uh, <laughs> it, the, uh, the the experience was good. Um, we just wanted to exchange for helping us too because we didn't have um, any laptops or computers like you guys. And we were limited with our phones because some of the apps didn't want to do what we wanted the video to look like. But um, other than that, just I had, I had a lot of fun doing this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> 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 well, given the fact that it's just a, a minute and seven or eight second video, if we would have do this project from month on Monday, and we didn't know each other at that time, it would be the worst video we ever <laughs> But luckily, from Monday to Wednesday, we get to know each other. We get to call this have a mom, and probably this guy's gonna call me their grandfather or something. <laughs> but anyways, it was a great experience. This is this was actually my first video on the net. So. Yeah, it's a great experience. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, my experience is that when we first started our shooting, it was so hard. Then when it comes to the end, it's so good. Thank you. 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 Quite fun. Um, we we had fun making this space, and then, but in the end, we did um, get together and we produce something. So, yeah. But from it, we do take a great experience back home with us um, in terms of learning and also how powerful technologies <coughs> can be in um, sending out messages. Yeah. One, two, three. He ha! Let them be heard. Originally had planned to make a small tips video. Um, for those of you who saw our plan, it's much different than the end product. But I think the reason why it turned out so different is because so much um, we didn't expect so much sentimental value to go into it, and the fact that we met so many lovely people along the way. I don't think it's huh? Yeah. <laughs> we met so many lovely people along the way, and along that, um, we all brought something different to the table, and this was um, sort of the last um, bit of. What we had left, we have so many um, yeah. things that we didn't get to share on the so it just shows how um, amazing and how welcoming the people are here and how easy it was to find content for our video. So we hope that you enjoy it. Just to the introduction of our presentation, so we have to know that the roots of education are bitter, but the fruits is sweet. Stop. Drop and roll is a movement aimed to create awareness and inform our youth of the importance of education. Our team has created a mini documentary group presenting a vision through the opinion of the world group. Uh, and to inspire and to be an inspired for others. <laughs> Family, and she's very, very difficult. Yeah. Like, um, yes, she, she doesn't want to go to school. We try, we try to uh, advise her to finish school so that she is able to like find work for yeah. herself because like... you can't depend on your parents all the mm. time. And then she has to look after herself too one day and mm. her other siblings. Yeah. She's the eldest in the family. Mm. That's awesome. Well, yeah. let's see. I think uh, the parents should uh, urge mm. them to go to school because they should be in school because it's free education. Yeah. To be wise with their decision making, 
they have to go to school so that they can uh, help their parents out there struggling for their school works and buying all their stuff for us. Yeah, the probably conform to hang out with the wrong crowd, they end up getting into trouble. So yeah, it mainly depends on the kind of situation they face mm -hmm. most probably. Stop it! Drop it! And enroll!
Um, yeah, it was really uh, difficult. Uh, first of all, um, getting to uh, getting people's uh, participation from the public. Uh, like for example, we went to like a couple of people that they didn't want to take uh, videos of them, and uh, thankfully there were some people that were able to and, that, and were willing to uh, share their opinion uh, through our uh, project. The other thing I want to say thank you. I mean, uh, appreciate. I mean, uh, I was actually really amazed by uh, this project and uh, participation from our group because uh, we're all from different places and we all we only we have only been uh, together within like four days and we were able to uh, uh, cooperate and uh, put together something within like a small amount of time so that's one thing I was really really amazed of uh, and and the, the intention you know <coughs> to do something for change you know uh, for the betterment of uh, of other people, especially something issues that is going on right now, and that uh, uh, that it, it requires a lot of courage and and uh, patience. So that's why I'm, I'm yeah I'm just amazed and thankful of our group work and yeah especially Rosie with uh, as our technician and the producer. Thank you very much. Just put in the microphone down. Yep. Stop, drop, and roll.